Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at X-Force number five by Rob Liefeld. All right, so this is hot on the heels of the X over crossover with adjectiveless Spider-Man on uh, Todd McFarlane. Uh, they did the sideways crossovers that I did, so this is the follow-up issue to that. And this is like the prelude to 90s image comics and uh, appearance by Deadpool. Um, probably La Rob Liefeld's biggest claim to fame, I guess, even though he never ever gives credit to Le Louise Simonson, who basically created him, and Fabian Nacieza, who basically, you know, helped create him too with his personality and whatever. Anyway, this is screaming 90s art. Oh my God. So crazy. It's so bright and so all over the place and so doesn't make sense. But there's such a great energy to it. <laughs> and such a, I don't know, there's just, I mean, the back of Bob's head could very easily be the front of his head. I don't know. Wow, how many teeth are here? I would hate to be his dentist. I'd be like, first of all, you have 87 teeth. Second of all, they're all yellow. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh, 90s. Roll-up jean shorts, wow. Are those like roll-up mom jean shorts on top of it? Probably. Domino, I always kind of like the character of Domino. It's funny, I don't know if it's just what it is, but um, I don't know, looking at this art, I feel like I liked it way more back in the day than I do now. It just looks just terrible. The anatomy is awful. There's no backgrounds. It just looks like utter crap. I mean, shatter start for God's sakes. What is going on here? It's so confusing to look at. The colors are so weird and wonky. This is definitely 90s comic books at your finest. And I mean, at the time it was crazy good. I loved it, of course. Oh, and here's Feral. Oh my god, like just so stupid, like it doesn't make sense. The perspective is so amateurish and like so wrong. Like is that a doorway? Like what is that even? Like what's happening here? Oh no, here we go. Like if you're gonna do a bird's eye view, I don't know. Just why even bother if it's just not gonna look right? Like. Is she sitting on the kid's chair, like, hanging off the side of the table? Like, what the hell is that? Oh, this is good, too. This shows, like, how pro the colorist was. So you have cross-hatching here, and they're treating it like a pattern and doing, like, different blues and colors in it. Okay, that's a choice. Wow, I just... I don't remember it being this bad. Am I just being a jerk? I guess so, but it just looks terrible to me. I don't know, there's no talent, there's no storytelling, there's no anatomy, there's no sense of lighting. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, and then just, this really tops it off, guys. So then this unnecessary double page spread flipped on its side, which he was so famous for in this era, and it just looks awful. There's like no background except for like this directional lines on the floor and Bob's face once again like what the hell is it he looks like twisty from American Horror Story that's just insane so sorry about that guys anyway that was X-Force number five by Rob Liefeld thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel hit like and I'll bring you some more later thanks guys